Hello, hello. Okay, welcome to your EFO class. Hello, Daniela Blandon. Hello, Good Paulette. morning. Good morning. Hello, Dani Navas. Mateo, Alison, Adrian, Ariana, Valeria. Good morning. Jimena, Alejandro, Mendoza. Good morning. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Today we have our EFL class, yes? Okay, so you need your book. Good morning. Good morning. Open it on page 32. Okay. Yes, we use our stickers. So you need to in your stickers. Tell me, Christopher. Usted dijo ayer de que en la clase de language vamos a hacer recreo virtual. Pero ya. <laughs> no, language. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So let's see. So be ready with your book and your stickers. Yes? Okay. Si no tienes stickers, ahí cerquita, búsquelos porque los va a necesitar. Okay. Yes. That's great. Espere que empecemos. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Open your book on page 32. In this day, okay, we finish unit number three. Yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see. This one is, okay, EFL class. Uh, let me do this one and that. Okay, excellent. So let's see, light up the word. And today we talk about South Africa. Yes? I'm sorry. Okay, South Africa. Okay, so this one is a country that is located in Africa. You know that Africa is a continent, yeah? Okay, South Africa is part of this continent. Okay, so let's see, help me please and read the first paragraph. Um, let me see. The page. 34, 32, I'm sorry, 32. Okay, Diana Marroquin, help me please. And you read the first uh, paragraph here. Sure. Tell me. Yeah. What is that, Thirty-two, thirty-two. Okay, so let's see. Diana Marroquin, help me please and read this part, the first paragraph. South Africa. Okay, let me check if Diana is here. Okay, the topic is light up the world, South Africa, yeah? Okay, Daniela Blandon, help me please. And you read the first paragraph that we have here. The information that we have in sharp green. South Africa has boys, mother, city. It has a three capitals, Cape Town, Bloemfontein and Pretoria. Okay, South Africa has VC, Mother City, okay? It has three capitals. Imagine, this one is a country that has three capitals. Cape Town, Bloemfontein and Pretoria. This one are the cities. Okay, Alejandro Mendoza, read the paragraph that we have in green box. The information que tenemos en el ver cuadro verde. Hi, Miss. Hi. There are 11 official languages a, a lot of children speak to three languages. Some of languages are Africans, English, Kosa, Swazi, and Sulu. Okay, so let's see, let's start, yeah? Okay, South Africa, thank you, Alejandro, is on the southern tip of Africa. Its flag has many colors. It shows that Africa has many cultures and a variety of landscapes. Okay, you know the meaning of landscapes? Paisajes. Okay, what is the sticker that you Okay, paste in that part is this one. Yes, 
is the flag. Okay, this one is a colorful flag that represents, okay, many cultures in a variety of landscapes. So you stick this one, yes, the flag. Va a colocar la bandera. Okay, excellent. Okay. As Daniela read, South Africa has busy in modern cities. It has three capitals, Cape Town, Bloemfontein, and Pretoria. Yes. Okay, what is the sticker? Is that. Okay, so you have a white building here. And you have a mountains on the back. Yeah, so this one is the sticker that you paste in that part. South Africa has busy modern cities. It has three capitals, Cape Town, Block Fountain, and Pretoria. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay, let's continue. What about sports? What are the sports that African people play in that case? This one are soccer and rugby. Okay, they are very popular sports. Okay, so they play soccer and rugby. They are popular sports. Okay. Excellent. So you paste this sticker in that part because this one are sports. Yes. Okay, that's good. Soccer and rugby are popular sports. Okay, remember we are working on page 32. Yeah. Okay, next one. As Alejandro Mendoza says, there are 11 official languages. A lot of children speak two or three languages. Some of the language are Africans, English, Kosa, Swazi, and Kulu. Yeah. Ah, okay, but in that case, we have the animals. Yes. There are big areas of savanna and bush. What is a bush? Okay. Ah, okay. Bosch, we call the, that cake matorral, okay? So, in South Africa, lions, zebras, and other animals live there. Kruger National Park is an enormous safari park. It's the site of Switzerland, okay? That means it's the site of a country, yeah? You know that Switzerland is a country, okay? Imagine this enormous safari park, has this size, so that's mean is enormous, yeah? Okay, so you can see different animals, zebras, lions, okay, tigers, um, giraffe, etc. Yes, so there are big areas of savanna and bush in South Africa. Lions, zebras, and other animals live there, okay? And the name of this national park is Kroger, Kroger National Park. Okay. Next one. South Africa is the richest country in Africa. It has many important minerals. It is famous for its diamonds and gold. Oh, okay. This one is new for me. South Africa is the richest country in Africa. It has many important minerals. Okay. Diamonds and gold. Imagine. And the last one, okay, there are 11 official languages. A lot of children speak two or three languages. Some of the languages are Africans, English, Kosa, Swazi, and Zulu. Yeah, okay, that's good. So let's see, I have different questions for you, okay. What is located South Africa? What is located South Africa? 
Okay, you have the answer on your book. Where is located South Africa? It's located in it's located, uh, Africa. Yeah. Okay, so, thank you. South Africa. Okay, it is located in the southern part of Africa. Okay, excellent. Next one. What are the three capitals of South Africa? Um, Ketan, and Pretoria. Okay, thank you, Gabriel. Cape Town, Bluffontein, and Pretoria. Okay, what are the most popular sports in South Africa? Soccer and rugby. Okay, soccer and rugby. Yes, okay. What is the name of the enormous, famous safari park in South Africa? Um, National Park. National Park is in National Park. Okay. Exactly. Kroger, Kroger National Park. Yes. Okay. What are okay the minerals that we can find in South Africa? Diamonds and gold. Okay, good. Diamonds and gold. And how many languages, okay, that children can speak? African English. Okay. Okay. Two or three languages. Yes. Okay. Africans, English, Kosa, Swazi, and Zulu. Yeah. Okay. They speak two or three languages. Okay. Excellent. That's good. So let's see. Let's continue. Okay. Now, this part. In that case, do you know? There are a species of penguins that lives in South Africa. Imagine this one. So South Africa is a hot country, but there are some penguins that live there. They are called the black-footed penguins. They live on sandy beaches and island. Okay, so that means the penguins not only live in an Antarctica, yeah, okay, in the Arctic, they live also in South Africa. That's mean on sandy beaches, okay, and also island. Okay, in that part, you look and you match. Okay, this one are different eyes of different animals and we match, yeah? For example, what is the eye of a buffalo? So you have the answer here, but I, let me see, do it because you need to see very well. Okay, buffalo is this one, the number five, yeah? Okay, what about rhino? Okay, the eye of a rhino or rhino is this one. Yes, the number two. Okay, what about elephant? This is the elephant's eye. Okay, what about, let me see a leopard. This is the number three. Okay, and what about in that case? Okay, the lion's eye. This is the number four, yeah? Okay, so you match. That's me, number one is elephant, yeah? Okay, number two, this one is a fa, right now. Number three, leopard. Number four, lion. And number five, buffalo. Okay, that's good. So let's see. Excellent. Okay, when you did this part, you tell me. Miss, I did it, and Miss, I finish. Remember, you do with different color, but in that case, I you did. can work with marker. Yes? Okay. I did. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
Okay. That's good. And we finish the first page. Now let's continue. Thank you. Okay. In that case, it's page number 33. Yeah. Okay. Read and complete with words, with the words in the box. Yes. Okay. So you see the box? This one is the box. Okay. You have different words here. You have car, park, plants. Okay. So you have here frog. Yes, table, mountain, sea, plants. Okay, all of this one are the words that we use. Yeah, okay, excellent. So right now we complete the text, okay, with the different words that we have here. Okay, so you help me, yeah? Okay, Luisa Chinchilla, okay. Table Mountain is a famous, what is the first word? Okay, Table Mountain is a famous, what is the correct word in that case? Did you see the picture, the little drop that you have here on the book? Yeah. Okay, Mountain, exactly. Yes, okay, Table Mountain is a famous in that case. Okay, let me check if I can move. Okay, mountain, exactly. Okay, table mountain is a famous mountain. Okay, so we cross out the word that we have already used, yes? Okay, in Cape Town, the top of the mountain is a plateau. It looks like a, Matias, what is next one? It looks like a, what is the word, Matias? A table. Okay, it looks like a table, exactly. So we cross out table because we have already used it. Okay, the mountain is part of a table mountain national. Okay, Jose Oliva, what is that? The mountains is part of Table Mountain National, according to the drawing that we have here. What is the word? Okay. Mateo Salmeron, give me the answer. The mountain is part of Table Mountain National. Park. Okay, park. Exactly, park. But in that case, you write with capital letter, yes? Because this one is a proper noun. So it's necessary that you write in capital letter. That's good. Okay, next one. The mountain has a cable. Okay, so let's see, Valeria Soriano. Car. The okay, the mountain has a cable. In that case is? Okay, car, yes, that's good. Okay, it takes people to the top of the mountain. They can, okay, Ariana. They can see. Okay, they can see, yes. They can see many beautiful things, yes, okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. Next one. Okay, a lot of Daniela Navas. A lot of plants. Okay, a lot of plants. Exactly. Okay, a lot of plants and animals live at Table Mountain. Some of the animals are baboons and porcupines. The table mountain ghost. Okay, let's see. Okay, Mario. What is Mario, what is the answer? Okay. Hello. Hello, what is the answer in that case? The table mountain ghost. Frog. 
Frog, okay, excellent. Frog doesn't live in any other place in the world. Yeah, okay, that's good. So let's see, now you read. Okay, let's read together, yes. Table Mountain is a famous mountain in Cape Town. The top of the mountain is plateau. It looks like a table. The mountain is part of Table Mountain National Park. The mountain has a cable car. It takes people to the top of the mountain. They can see many beautiful things. A lot of plants and animals live at Table Mountain. Some of the animals are baboons and porcupines. The Table Mountain Ghost Frog doesn't live in, no, in any other place in the world. Okay, excellent. So let's see, this one are important facts, yeah, about this one. Okay, thank you very much. So, what is the famous mountain in that part? What is the name of this one? Table Mountain. Thank, table Mountain. Okay, thank you, Aaron. Table Mountain. Okay, and where is located Table Mountain? Um, in Table Mountain. Okay, it's located no. in Cape. Listen, it's located in Cape Town. Okay, so let's see. And this Table Mountain has the shape of. A table. A table, exactly. For that reason, the name. Yeah. Okay. But this one is part of a national park. Yeah. And in that mountain, okay. Yes. Okay. And in the mountain, you can go to the top in a cable car. Yeah. Okay. You can see many beautiful things. And we can find a lot of plants and also one special animal. What is this one? This animal live. This animal live table. only in that part. The table mountain goes frog. Okay, the table mountain goes frog, and also we can find different animals like baboons and also lions, porcupines. Okay. Puerto Spin, porcupines, okay? And if you see the picture, this one is a baboon. It's a kind of monkey, okay? It's un tipo de, de, de mono, okay? Un baboon, okay, excellent. Macaco no es mi, no. We call that, yes. But the correct name is a baboon, yeah? <laughs> okay. So let's see, let's continue next part. And in that case, we have a crossword puzzle, yeah? So you know, down and across, yeah? Down, hacia abajo, vertical, in a cross, horizontal, yes? Okay, that's good. Excellent. So let's see. Okay, let's continue. Down, an animal with black and white stripes is a an animal with black and white stripes is a okay Mateo Salmeron zebra 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 okay yes yeah. zebra okay so you write one letter in each space z e b r a zebra okay Remember, we are right now doubt. Estamos vertical. Yeah? Okay, that's good. Next one. National Park is the site of Switzerland. Okay, check the answer on page 32. National Park is the site of Switzerland. Gabriel, what is the answer? Mm. Kroger. Kroger, yes. Okay, Kroger is that. Kroger, capital K R U G E R. Kroger. Okay, this is number two. 
capital A, capital K, I'm sorry, R-U-G-E-R, -E Kroger. There are three capital. There are three capital. What is this one? Number three. There are three capitals. Okay, let's check the paragraph, yeah? In page 32. Let's see, okay. The information is in the chart that you have in... No, long fountain in Pretoria. No, okay, this one is not the answer. Listen, okay, um, check the chart that you have on page 32. The light blue chart, okay, says, South Africa has busy motor cities. It has Brazil. three capitals. Brazil. Cities, okay, thank you, Christopher. Cities. Yes, cities, okay. This one is the answer, cities. C-I-T-I-E-S, okay, there are three capital cities. That's good. Okay. Number four, now we pass to across, okay? English and our official languages. English and our official languages. Alison? Africans. Okay, Africans, yes. Capital okay. A, F, R, I, capital K, a A N S Africans. Go. Okay. Now number five. Okay, a yellow metal from Africa is a yellow gold. 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 Okay. Gold. gold. Oh, gold. Oh. Okay, gold. G O L D. Gold. 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 Okay, turn off your microphone. Gold. Excellent. And the last one, number six. A popular South African sport is. Okay. Okay. Rugby. Okay. Thank you. Rugby. Rugby in that case. R U G B Y. Rugby. A popular South African sport is rugby. Yeah. Okay. We have a question. Back. Okay. What is your question? ¿Me puedo decir en español? <laughs> okay, Mateo. Tell me. En verdad tengo dos. La primera es que verdad que ahora no es no es que van no van a dejar la tarea ahora de IFS. Mm, okay, so if we check our agenda, okay, so let me see. The homework is for today or maybe for tomorrow. Let's check your agenda. Okay, according to agenda week number 18, so you send the evidence of EFL. Let's see. Okay, tomorrow, uh, let me check. Okay, yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, para sí, mañana. mañana es, de hoy, okay, hoy. yes, Thank it's you. tomorrow because tomorrow we are starting unit number four. Okay, and you develop your evidence of this unit. Okay, de la unidad cuatro la vamos Thank a hacer. You. Okay, you're welcome. Excellent. Okay, you finished this part? Yes. Okay, that's good. So with that information, okay, we finished the unit number three. Okay, that's mean tomorrow we begins with unit number four. Yes? Yes, Vale, you can go. Okay, so let's see. Excellent, okay. So let's stop here. Okay, so let's see. Right now you need your EFL notebook, okay? EFL notebook, please. EFL notebook, okay, so let's see. 
Do you have a notebook? Ok, excelente. So let me check. Vamos a empezar ahorita nuestro breve receso. Ok, vamos a iniciar desde ya. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Ok, vamos a dibujar un poquito. ¿Sí? Ok. Vamos a dibujar. Vamos a ver si usted tiene alguna tapa. Ok, algo que sea circular. Lo puede hacer, ok, lo puede ocupar. O si no, un transportador, que es lo que ocupamos en matemáticas. Si usted o no también tiene, un compás. Un compás, sí, puede ser un compás, ok. Usted necesita uno de estos. Ok, vamos a ver. En su cuaderno de IFL, en la última página donde hemos trabajado, la siguiente va a ser este dibujo, ok. Muy bien, vamos a comenzar. Vea lo que va a hacer esta chica. Ok, vamos a hacer un círculo, ¿sí? ¿De qué tamaño? Del tamaño que quepa en su página, ¿ok? Un poquito menos, no le va a hacer al tamaño exacto de la página, sino que tiene que hacerlo más pequeñito, ¿sí? Dígame, Alison. Sí, y lo hacemos en la siguiente página de la que hemos trabajado o en la última página del cuaderno. No, en la siguiente página que ha trabajado, ¿ok? Ah. Okay, Miss bien. en el libro o en el cuaderno. En el cuaderno, Christopher. Ok. En el libro no tenemos espacio. Lo vamos a hacer en el cuaderno. Ok. En el centro de la página, pero que no sea tan grande que sea chiquito, porque alrededor le vamos a hacer varias cosas afuera del círculo, si no, no nos va a caber. Ok. Entonces tiene que ser menos. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Me avisa cuando ya haya realizado el círculo. Ok, solo póngame, solo póngame el dedito arriba, no, si ya lo hizo. En el cuaderno. En el cuaderno de IFL. Ok, muy bien. Ya lo hicimos, continuamos. Ok, dígame. Este, ¿Y esto es evidencia? No, esto es como un recreo virtual, ok. Vamos a tener un espacio para recreo, pero lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a dibujar. Ok. Ok, muy bien. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Esa persona tiene una regla con muchos círculos de distintos tamaños. Nosotros no la tenemos. Entonces le vamos a dibujar un círculo pequeño en el centro. Ok, si usted lo puede hacer con una moneda, lo puede hacer perfectamente. Si no, con el compás. Sí, solo que más pequeñito. Ok, le va a hacer un círculo en el centro. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, y le va a quedar así. Ok. Ok, ahora qué le vamos a hacer esto, vea, como que si fuera una dona, ¿sí? Le vamos a hacer esta línea curva, ok. Esa línea curva en la parte de abajo, como si fuera una dona. Dígame, Adrián. Ok, vamos a hacer esto, como que si fuera una donita. Dígame, Alison. Podemos hacerlo con plumón, pero le ponemos algo atrás para que no se pase. Ah, sí, sí lo puede hacer. Puedo, puedo ponerle una página abajo para que no se traspase. Ok, no, no es obligación hacerlo. Estamos en un recreo virtual, pero este día en nuestro recreo virtual lo que vamos a hacer va a ser dibujar. Ok. 
Muy bien. Ok, le dibujamos esta parte como que fuera una donita, como que fuera una ola de mar, como usted lo pueda ver. Cuando usted ya lo haya hecho, me confirma de que ya lo tiene, ¿verdad? Dígame, Lucas. Ya terminé. Ok, perfecto. Sí, no lo puedo hacer. ¿Por qué? Claro que sí puede. Vamos a verlo, vamos a intentar. ¿De acuerdo? Ya terminé. Ok. El, mis, yo lo hice con ese cosa de tierra. Ah, muy bien. Está bien, me parece. Y hacer las cosas no hay que tener nada de actividad y tenemos que decir que si podemos. Si, no, si decimos que no podemos, no vamos a poder lograrlo. Ok, gracias, Polet. Sí, recuerde que todos podemos hacerlo. De manera de espacio lo podemos lograr. Ok. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. Eso, muy bien, Aarón. Seguimos. Ok, ahora vea, usted le hace como chispitas, ok, como chispitas le vamos a hacer. Ok, parece una dona, pero no es una dona. <ríe> vamos a descubrir qué es. Entonces, ¿qué es? Mm, ya, vamos a ver. ya vamos a ver qué es. Empieza con Ok, vamos a ver. Hacemos una donita. Sí, aquí lo dice. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. Creo que ya hicimos unas chispitas. Mi creo que es una dona unicornio. <ríe> ok. Dona ahora gato, le... pero bebé. Una dona unicornio, dona gato. Ok, vamos a ver. Ahora le hacemos unas orejitas. Vean. Unas orejitas en la parte de arriba. Ok. Orejitas en la parte de arriba. Muy bien. Ok. Después de las orejitas. Ok. Le hacemos estas líneas. ¿Sí? Como que fuera cabello. Ok. O manchitas. Creo que esas son manchitas en este caso. Ok. Eso. Muy bien. Mire cómo me está quedando. Ok, ya voy. Ok, le hacemos la nariz. Y luego hacemos otros dos círculos pequeñitos que van a ser sus ojos. Ok, los círculos más pequeños que van a ser los ojitos. Y ya casi tenemos el gato, ¿ya? <risa> ok, ya casi lo formamos. Mi soy sí, mire. Ok, déjeme mover. Ah, muy bien, excelente. Sí, sí lo podía hacer. Sí, vale. Ok, vamos a ver. Nos quedamos hasta acá, ¿verdad? Ok, ahí nos vamos a quedar. Luego en language continuamos, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, excelente. Nos vemos en nuestra clase de language a las 11. 
¿Sí? Adiós. Sí, por un momentito y luego continuamos. Miss, digo que era clase de lengua.